Hello everyone. Today's topic is to learn and explore about the difference between two gross price condition types that is PB00 and PBXX. Today we will going to learn about their features, their benefits into a purchasing business process and that is into a purchase order. Let's come to our water document. So what are these condition types? These are actually gross pricing conditions and these conditions are used in a purchase order at item level. PB00 is an automatic price condition and PB0 is a, is a PB access is a manual price condition. Now two points very, very important to understand and learn. When does the PB00 appears in a purchase order? So it is important to have a purchasing information record. Okay. That is, it should have a proper validity. That is, for example, in this case, the validity is from 1st of January till 31st of December 2023. Let me just make a little correction. This is actually a PIR, a valid PIR exist. <clears throat> a valid PIR should exist. Let me make some corrections over here. Should exist. And so in this case, I have just given an, an example that if a valid pur purchase information record is having the validity from 1st of January till 31st of December and several purchase orders are created between these particular validity months, that is within these 12 months, then the system will going to pick up the gross price automatically in the form of PB00 into a purchase order. Okay. And whatever is the price which is maintained in the info record that will be copied into the purchase order. Second thing, when does the PBXX will going to appear in purchase order? So PBXX, as I said, it is a manual price. So when the PIR does not exist, for example, we don't have the PIR. So PIR is created with a combination of like uh, material plus vendor plus plant and plus purchase order. So this sometimes happens when we have a new material created and for that material, we don't have the PIR into our system. So in such a situation, the user, the business user will going to input the PBXX price manually. Second thing, if a PIR, PIR validity, that is purchasing information record validity is expired. For example, if the validity of PIR is from 1st of January 2023 till 31st of December 2023, that is for the entire 12 month, and the user is trying to create purchase orders on 1st of January. That means after the expiry of purchasing inform information record. That means on 1st of January, that particular info record will going to be no more valid. So in such a situation, PB00 price will not pick from the PIR into the PO. Instead, the user will enter the price manually for PBXX, okay? And third condition is if a PIR is valid, but it is deleted in the SAP system. Okay, so these were the uh, important features and I would say important difference between both the gross price conditions PV00 and PVXX. Hope you like this video. So I would like to request everyone to kindly subscribe and like and share uh, this channel SAP MM Rajiv and please stay tuned for our upcoming other topics as well on this channel. Thank you very much for your time and attention.